first time as my photography videography assistant. So hopefully you can see me. Now we're going to head to the mountains in the middle of Bali. It's about <laughs> a two hour drive. So we've packed up the scooter with our stuff. Let's go. Very quick pit stop to get a new tripod because I stupidly left the head on my friend's camera. We're invited to the Caldera Hotel and Restaurant to check out this incredible region of Bali. We've been loaning this old school Vespa to go and explore the Kintamani region. Do I just sit on the back like this? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> so this is the black lava of Mount Batur and it's been like this since 1963 and you can actually hike up the mountain, up the, the lava trail and you can really feel the heat, like my legs are really quite warm right now and it's just from the sun radiating off the black lava. They've tried to revegetate the area so just last year in the rainy season they put in these plants but as you can see they, it's not working, it's just the ground is underneath, it's just been completely fried so they're gonna have another go in the next rainy season. It's just got like a real dystopian feel to it. It's really cool. This was one of my favorite places for photo shoots in Bali. Seriously, if you're looking for a cool place, this is it. Batur, which is at the foothills between two of these huge mountains and you can see there's some fishermen here just wading in the very shallow water and you can actually hire a boat here if you want to do a little tour by water. We're going to stick with the Vespa for now but it's a beautiful view out here for sure. So this is the Batur Natural Hot Spring and it's billed as Bali's only healing spa. pronouncing the name of this so we'll get Jerry to help us out. What is the name of this temple? Ulundanu Batur Temple. And it's been recognized by UNESCO. It was built in 1935 and it's still standing here today at the base of Mount Batur. So we've been standing here for a couple of minutes taking some photos and I've got to say you can really feel the energy in this place like there's just a sense of absolute peace despite it being really really hot here right now. It's very tranquil and I can understand why they would want to build a temple right here. Mango and bayaka! Is it like a lentil flower or something? And then it's got nuts in it. You can tell the difference that you're in a place that's not inundated with tourists because the shop owner just wanted to have a chat with us if they're genuinely interested to see people here visiting their town. Up to a little room and we're gonna grab some lunch. Fancy. Wow. Terima kasih, Ibu. Vegetarian soup and muzair nyat nyat. Fish. Is fish with, is it chili? Yeah, with the chili. Yum. It feels like a really authentic town, so there's not a lot of tourist kind of places around here. My favorite fish. Oh. So I'm so excited to eat in this. <laughs> Jerry is devouring. My friend Rask came with some bonus hair. 
<laughs> I picked it out, Jerry says it's uh, extra authentic. So I'm sure the extra flavour will be really good for my gut bacteria. <laughs> So we've been invited to go to a traditional Balinese ceremony. So the hotel manager yeah, yeah. <laughs> has brought us some traditional uh, clothes to wear so that we're dressed appropriately. I had just put on my long skirt thinking that would be fine, but the hotel manager has actually brought me some proper local sarong and top, proper clothes. So I'm gonna put them on and have a go. This for me. Oh, that's for you. Oh, hello! Hello! Namaste, Roxy! Salamade! Ah, Namaste! Is it okay to film? Oh! Yeah? Hahaha! 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 special to be invited to join a local family to take part in this ceremony. Indonesia is mostly Muslim but Bali has many religions with Hindu the most predominant one and the Hindus give daily offerings to the gods with the full moon being the most sacred believed to have heightened purification powers. It's a beautiful time for families to come together to cleanse. Now sleeping and waking up amongst the mountains was so magical and Caldera Hotel is definitely somewhere you want to make sure you're awake for sunrise. Now the view speaks for itself but the hotel also has manicured gardens. And in the restaurant that overlooks the view, there is the perfect place for an Instagram photo or a morning coffee. So thanks for tuning in and coming along here to the Kintamani region. I feel like this is another one of Bali's best kept secrets, but I'm sure it won't be for long. So definitely recommend coming and checking out this awesome area. Thanks for coming along with us and I'll see you again soon.